intend this, to have this in view, and make this, meaning his will and his pleasure, this, the great motive of all our acting. So whatever it is that we do, we do it to please God. We do it to make sure at the end of the day, it's what God wanted. Amen. Amen. Any questions in before for yourself? For those at, at home, uh, I thank you for tuning in and for sticking with us on tonight. I got a few pieces to get through. Oh, you got okay. So I'm just gonna pray and sit down. That's what I'm gonna do. <laughs> I'll bring you back up. Go bring me back up. So you can go oh, you. Oh, I got you. I got you. And then you move on out the way. Get out the way. Come on. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you for this. Clap your hands. Give God praise for you. He wasn't finished, he just stopped. Amen. As we're in this journey, are on this journey of realignment unto the Lord, we in a place of spiritual, say realignment. Realignment. Uh, the whole church of the Lord Jesus Christ is in a place of realignment. Mm -hmm. Divine realignment of our souls reconnecting with our spirits, mm -hmm. amen, to obey God. There's, I think, five things I'm gonna give to you from the Lord, I want you to write these down. These are just notes that he wants you and I to be aware of because of where he's taken us and where the world is going. The world is in a rock and reeling kind of condition but God still is God. And that's the first thing that he said. Tell my people, no matter what, I'm God. No matter what, I am God. All you all of you gonna see things that will be astounding, earth shaking, things that will make your eyes cross. The first note he wants you as his children, we as his people, no matter what, I'm God. Say that. No matter what, I'm God. Number two, stay connected to me. Tightly and securely. Stay connected to me. Tightly and securely. Number three. There's no need to panic. I'm with you. Say that. There's no need to panic. I'm with you. What's going on out there would make you want to panic and make you want to, I mean, go and hide someplace. But the Lord says, there's no need to panic. I'm with you. Four. Relax. Listen to me. Slash obey me. Relax. Listen to me. Obey me. See, when you relax and you listen to God, and obey God. Be at peace. Come on, say it again. Be at peace. You be at peace. The Bible says there's no want to them that trust him. No want. <laughs> and also the happy is a man that put their trust in him. That's right. And so God said, relax. Relax. Listen to me. That's important. Listen to me. Listen. Obey me. Mm -hmm. This is mine right here, but it's probably all of ours. He says, in your weakness. Mm -hmm. Yeah. In your weakness, then I'm made strong. In your weakness. Yeah. So don't worry about 
you know, you, you, I can't do anything. So in your weakness, that's when you trust and call on him. Lord, you said in my weakness, I'm made strong. Lord, make me strong. Last one. It's my will, not yours, that shall be done. It's my will, not yours, that shall be done. Uh, What's the last one? It's my will, not yours, that shall be done. His will shall be done. In earth. In your earth. In my earth. As it is in heaven. No matter what, I'm God. No matter what, that's what he's No matter what, I'm God. No what. Nothing else, nobody else. No. I'm God. Mm -hmm. You know, I visit and there's none beside me, you know. You know, the God, if it is, I don't know. That's how God talks. Right. I, don't, I don't know him, where is he? Right, right. Yeah. You go find him, let me know, let me talk to him. Mm -hmm. And did he set the sun and stars and move? No, no, I did that. Right. So if there's another God, let me know, because he's going to tell me how he set the sun, sun and the moon in place. Praise God. As we're in this time of fasting, I want to share this again, and those who are listening by Facebook media, fasting is chastening. If that fasting is chastening, it's not something you want to do. That's something that you rush into. Because fasting deals with you. It deals with me. It deals with the soul. It deals with the flesh. It deals with the ego. And we talk about the ego. It deals with the ego. It deals with the soul. Uh, I, I want... I think, I feel. It deals with all that that has been out of alignment with the will of God. And it's been prevalent. It's been high gluten. And, you know, it's been the standard. I will, I want, I need. That's the will. That's the ego. Amen. And so fasting, which God has us in a time of fasting, is to deal with our souls, to deal with our flesh is to bring us back into alignment of our soul being reunited with our spirit, amen? And our spirit, uh, the, the, the commanding the soul, amen, uh, uh, to do right and the body flowing with the soul, amen? Because the soul is that part of us, amen, uh, who, who, who directs, amen, the body. Although the spirit and body belong to the Lord, but it's controlled by your soul. He leaves that to you. Amen. The spirit and the body belongs to God, but the soul and your flesh is yours. Mm. That means you got to pay for what you want from God. Amen. So I'm just giving this out so you understand, amen, as we move into these last few days of our time of fasting, that you really focus, amen. You, you'll, be, you'll be centered, amen, of what you are expecting after this fast. What are you looking for? Uh, what, what, what has changed and what has the Holy Spirit dealt with you in this fast time? Amen. What are you dropping dropping off? Amen. He said to us, amen, that he dropped off sugar, amen, and a punch and stuff like that. It's important, amen, because if he's going to go for the long haul, amen, he has to be in alignment, amen. His body has to be in alignment of where God's going to take him, where God's going to take you. Amen. You can't be out of sorts of, in your spirit, soul, or body. Your spirit, soul, and body. Our spirit, soul, and body must come in alignment. Oh, and that's a tough cookie to bring in alignment, amen, yes. if it's been off course. Mm -hmm. It's just like a car alignment, amen. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, every now and then you got to get your car realigned. Yeah. Because sometimes it pulls to the left, amen. And you can cause your accident, it pulls to the left. Sometimes it pulls to the right, praise God. Because it's out of alignment, amen. Praise God. Mm -hmm. And you got to pay money for that, praise yes. God. If you don't uh, rotate the tires properly, it can cause excessive unnecessary wear. It caused un oh my God! It caused unnecessary wear and tear. Wow. 
Wow. Amen. On the car, on the tires. Amen. Wow. They wear out uh, half the time, praise God, where you got to keep going into your pocket. Amen. Pulling out money. That's why you need to get your uh, tires, put air in them every three months. Put some air, you know, take it a shot, have to put some air in it. Amen. Praise God. So you can stay in balance. If not, one side will rear unevenly. Amen. Then all of a sudden, you got to spend $150 here. And then, you know, if you don't keep checking, $150 there. Amen. Because maybe you didn't know. Praise God. But that's why our, our spirits, amen, our souls are out of line with our spirit, amen, unto God. Praise God. And sometimes we we're, we're, we're talking off the side of our neck, amen. Uh, we're insensitive, amen. We're shocked with people, praise God, amen. And we're falling down, amen, in our submission unto what the known will of God. And we think it's all right. And our soul tells us it's all right. He knows my heart. Ooh. But the Bible says to him that don't know the right and don't do it, amen, becomes sin to him, amen. It's, not a, it's the devil that make you do it. But him that know what to do right and do it not, that becomes a sin, amen. And sin can chip away at your spirit, amen, where it's not sharp and sensitive and it can't see like it's supposed to see. You can't hear like you're supposed to hear. So fasting is the chasing of the soul of the flesh. A, to punish, to chastise. To discipline, to purity. Fasting is to what? Punish, to chastise, to discipline, discipline. unto purity. Because when you're working out of the flesh, you're unpure before God. Mm -hmm. Amen. You're unpure. Amen. You're thinking. You're unpure in your actions. Praise God. B. Fasting, to punish in order to correct or to make better. As we are in this fasting, uh, there's a punishment against you. You're being punished against yourself. Amen. You're right? Come on. You, you're being punished against yourself. Amen. And uh, your, 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 your flesh is going through, I mean, convulsions. Amen. Come on. Headaches, backaches. Amen. Bad breath, amen, all kind of stuff, amen, <laughs> is being revealed. That's because you're so full of junk in the flesh, I'm talking about, but even in the spirit, amen. You're, you're talking and saying things that you ought not say. They're not convenient, amen, to the flowing in the spirit. And so fasting brings to a place where it's, in, it's to punish, amen. So when you go to fasting, I'm going to fast. No, no, you ain't going, you ain't going on fasting. you just missing some meals. You have the wrong focus. You don't know what you're doing. Praise God. Fasting is to punish. Praise God. It's to punish in order to say correct. Or make. Or to make better. I'm being made better. We're being made better. I got to be made better. If we're going on with the Lord, if we're going to have the Lord, amen, uh, in an explosive way in the midst of us, uh, uh, we have to be punished, amen. We have to be corrected, amen. We have to be made better, amen, to walk with this holiness of God, amen. amen. God, he demands holiness out of his sons and daughters, amen. Is that an option? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. We're not to be like the world. Amen. We're not to be, not to be church folk. Mm -hmm. We're to be sons and daughters of God. Praise God. We've read this to you, but... It says the purpose of fasting, you want to write this down, you already have it, but the purpose of fasting is a God-given means of breaking the power of the flesh and rendering it submissive and mastered. Yes. I'll say it again, the purpose of our fasting, and anybody going on a fast, it's a God-given means of what? Breaking the power. Breaking the what? Power. Breaking the power. You know you've got a power. I said, you know you've got a power. You know, when you, when you fast, amen, this is something that's really important. When you do eat, it's so valuable. It's so precious. It's so meaningful. It's so tasty. Come on, say you met somebody. It's so tasty. Hot dogs and beans taste like filet mignon. Come on, say man, somebody. Oh, and you appreciate hot dogs and beans. Ain't nothing wrong. I love them. And it tastes so good. Tastes so good when you get back to them. 
you won't take it for granted. Amen. And there's folks that wish they could have hot dogs and beans. Amen. Amen. And they can't get it. But we have taken it for granted. I got to have it. I can have what I want. Amen. Huh? So the purpose of fasting is a God-given means of breaking the power of the flesh. Rendering. Say rendering. Rendering. It. Is. Submissive. Submissive. And mastered. And mastered. So your soul and your flesh is going to be mastered mm -hmm. unto your spirit. Amen. I keep my body under. Right? As Paul said, even this. Mm -hmm. Present your bodies living a living sacrifice. You, spirit, you soul in charge, present your body mm -hmm. a living sacrifice. What else he say? Holy, acceptable unto God, which is your reasonable, not just service, your reasonable worship unto God. And he goes on to say, and be not conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind that ye may prove what is that good, acceptable, and perfect will of God. Hallelujah. Amen. You want to say something? No, that's what he was saying. Come on. That's, no, this, I gotta go off. Yeah, that's it. <laughs> you close out so you can bring it out. But as he as Minister uh, Lee was speaking, and I was listening to him at the end, he's talking about you know demons being cast out and miracles and stuff. Listen, there ain't that much going on. Amen. So ain't nothing else to be proud about. It can't be going on until we fast and pray and get the purity of God, the holiness of God back in, on the inside of us. Because if a demon gets cast out in these next few months, you know what the Bible says? You know what Jesus said? No, no, no. When the devils began to be cast out, my God, this is Luke 11, Luke 11, Luke 11. Luke 11. See, there ain't that many healings going on. There ain't that many miracles going on. There ain't that many de demons being cast out because folk don't think there's no demons around. Oh, come on, come on. Because the flesh is so prominent. And we're having so many flesh services that the Holy Spirit is not invited in. we having a good time singing and dancing. Clapping our hands, amen? But inside of many of us, the soul is predominant factor in all that we say and all that we do. Amen. What does verse 20 say in Luke 11? Read it slow. It says what? But if I... 1120, why don't you read? But if I was a finger of God... If I what? With the finger of God... Look over here. Jesus is talking. He said, if I with the what? Finger of God. He didn't say hand. He said, if I with the what? Finger of God. Do what? Cast out the devil. Cast out the devil then? No doubt. The no what? No doubt. No what? No doubt. No doubt what? The kingdom of God is coming. The kingdom of God is in your midst. The kingdom of God is showing up. If healings and miracles and demons being cast out, amen, start to happen, then you know what? That the kingdom of of God is in your midst. Amen. So there's nothing for us to be all slap happy about, amen, until God, amen, come on and, and lift us up to that place and we submit ourselves, amen, we be submissive and mastered by the Spirit of God and by obedience, amen, and letting His will be done in our earthen vessels, uh, then we can get happy, amen, because uh, not nobody can come uh, into Lord into this place, amen, and leave the same way. Nobody can come into your assembly, your synagogue, your church, amen, having the authority of the name of Jesus Christ uh, upon, my God, your heart, in the midst of you, amen, and a devil of oh my God, be content. Amen. Come on. Mm -hmm. The demons can't be content mm -hmm. being in the midst of you. But if a heart wants to be set free, if a person wants to be delivered, they've come to the right place. Amen. I said they've come to the right place. 
Ah, the Lord likes, he loves casting out devils. He loves healing the sick. He loves raising the dead. He loves doing miracles. Amen. Right after he finished being preaching his first sermon at his home church, they wanted to kill him. Yeah. Yes. They want to throw him off the brow of the hill. Amen. Yes. Because he offended them. Praise God. Yes. And the first thing he did, praise God, after he left them. Amen. He cleansed a man with an unclean spirit. Then he went everywhere preaching and healing and doing miracles. And they wanted to hold on to him, tell him to stay. No, I go to many other cities and towns and show forth the kingdom of God. But my brother and sister, know that the kingdom of God is coming among the Lord's church. Yes. Amen. Authority, power, and dominion. Thank God for the little dab that has done us. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It makes like a little dab that has done us. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> but we need more than a little dab to do this. Yeah. To fight with the demons and the nine different genders that he talked about tonight. We need all the nine gifts of the spirit to discern. Amen. To see the words of wisdom, words of knowledge. We need God to tell us what we're dealing with. Amen. When he stands before us. Amen. So we can discern rightly. Amen. And deliver the power as needed. Amen. The Lord wants us to be in a time of sincere, aggressive prayer, of seeking his face, and turning from every part of any wicked way that may be in our life, that we may hear from heaven. He may forgive our sin and heal our lands. Then you can come close out in prayer. You may stand to your feet. Amen. Prepare to honor the Lord in the giving tonight as we do on Thursday. Amen. You have the stomach giving tonight. Your life ain't going to be the same again. I'm going for all the gusto. How about you? He hears that. He, he's got to. You got to. You know why you got to? I'm asking this young man. You know why you got to? No. No, you just don't love me. No. No. Because you, you pass through preaching. <laughs> All in your Yes, sir. Woo, <laughs> If it was not so, you would have told me. Woo, hallelujah. You passed what we're doing. But guess what? Somebody said, you're still alive. Yes, yes, yes. Come on. Huh? We all still alive. Amen. Amen. But we can compare ourselves. We can prepare ourselves now. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. For the glorious future yeah. before us. Amen. Yeah. The glorious future that's before yeah. every one of us as children of God. Yeah. God said He want to make us better. Yeah. So we have something to offer this sin six world. Yeah. Amen. Come on, son. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, God. Lord, we thank you, God, for allowing us to know what pleases you God for, for correcting us and, and chastising us God we thank you for being God and God alone Lord we pray Father that your omnipotence takes over this whole world this whole atmosphere that we're in God we pray Father that you shall get the glory through your name God now we sit here and we, we stand How here in awe. Yes, we, yes, yes, yes. we stand here in awe of understanding and knowing, God, that you are the one and true and living God. So, God, we thank you for what you've done and what you're doing, what you will continue to do, God. You will have it the way that you say you will have it. Oh, yes. We thank you for what you're fixing to do, God. We thank you for putting your finger on a thing, oh God. Casting demons out, oh God. We thank you for the miracle signs and wonders that shall be wrought by the, by the hand of who you are, oh God. By using us, oh God. A consecrated us, a sanctified us, a holy us, God. Oh God, we thank you for the renewing of our minds, oh God. Oh, God, we thank you for much more than just what we think is a thrill and a dance. God, hallelujah. We thank you for much more than just a deliverance service, oh, God. We thank you for a lifestyle, oh, God, and a spirit that we never thought was even imaginable, God. We didn't even think it was tangible. Thank you. But, God, we thank you for it, oh, God. It shall come to be because that is your will. That's what you desire, oh, God. And you shall get the thing that you desire. And we choose not to stand in your way. Yes, 
So God, as we submit ourselves humbly and completely unto your will, God, 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 continue, Father, to teach us and show us, oh God, where it is we may err at, or where it is we may be stuck at, oh God, or where it is we may need to be filled with a little bit more of you, oh God. I pray, Father, for every ear, oh God, that hears the word, oh God, that has been preached, oh God, and is under the, my, my, my voice right now, oh God. I pray, Father, that new things shall happen to their house, oh God, and to their house, oh God, and to their minds, oh God. I thank you for the dreams and the revelations that shall come, oh God, first by the Spirit, oh God, and then things that they shall see, oh God, shall come to pass in the physical, oh God. Oh God, I thank you for families being brought back, back together, oh God. I thank you for deliverance, oh God, and the curses being lifted off of the, the lineages of families, oh God. I come against everything that's not like you, oh God. That is holding on to your sons and your daughters, oh God. I pray, God, that you will continue to build in us, oh God, an everlasting testimony, oh God, that cannot be shaken, oh God, it cannot be taken down by the hands of man, oh God. Even our hands, oh God. Yes. So God, I thank you for what you will what you what you will do and continue to do, oh God. That we will be used, oh God, by you for your pleasure, yes. oh God, and bring yes. you complete satisfaction in this day and in this hour, oh God. So God, I pray, Father, for those that are on social media, oh God, that you will continue to keep them, oh God, continue to protect them, oh God, continue to keep them healthy, oh God, and that no hurt, harm, or danger shall come nigh their dwelling, oh God. I pray, Father, that we cast out the spirit of fear in the name of Jesus. Yes. Hallelujah. I, and I speak healing to those that are listening, oh God. I speak regulation of, of, of blood, oh God. Blood of re re regulation, oh God. I thank you, God, for whatever it is that they may need, oh God. You will touch their bodies, oh God. And they shall send forth a testimony, oh God. Heal the backs, oh God. Heal the shoulders, heal the, the eyes, oh God. I thank you, oh God, for the complete healing, oh God, to our sister Andy, oh God. I thank you, God, for the complete recovery, oh God, which is already in place, oh God. We know that all things should work together for her good because she loves you. She is going according to your purpose, oh God. So you shall renew her strength, oh God. You shall renew her sight, oh God. You shall renew all things unto her, oh God. Give her peace, oh God. We thank you, oh God, for the, for the drive and the ambition that she has, oh God, to be here in your presence, oh God. So continue to protect her, oh God, and give her your heart on the matter, oh God. And continue to, oh my God, keep her and hold her in your arms, oh God, to know that she has to be anxious for nothing. Hallelujah. And all things are working together. Ay, 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 ay. All things are working together for her good. And each and every single one of our good. Oh God, I pray for all those that are here, oh God, that your hand shall be upon us, oh God. And wherever we go, you shall be there first. So God, we thank you for it, oh God. And we pray a continuous hand of protection over each and every single one of us. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Amen. Let me make an announcement. Amen. Amen. We and to the Facebook partners and all of our members who are listening by Facebook, uh, we have a restoration project that we're going to get involved with starting next month. It won't take long, but we need five thousand dollars for this project. Amen. Of repairing of, of a lot of these windows, caulking of these windows, replacement of a couple of windows in the back. Amen. Our educational wing. Amen. And we had. Uh, uh, gentlemen, come out today, amen, from where? What company? Glass Doctor. Glass Doctor, amen. And he gave us a good estimate, amen, of what it's going to take to recock that whole large window and cocking all the other windows around the church where water can get in, praise God, and bring more damage, amen. And so I'm just submitting this to all of our members and even to our friends, amen, in the ministry, amen. If you like to sow a seed on the Freedom Christian Assembly, we'll be most appreciative and God will bless you, amen, in our endeavors and your endeavors to help assist us, amen. So we're going to have, uh, we're going to use that, uh, the uh, box that we have a travel ministry box. We'll use that, that if you have a gift, you can place it in that box. It's in the back, but we'll bring it back out on Sunday. If you place your special gift, it goes directly to the repair of the God our windows. Amen. Praise God. And it's much appreciated. And God will bless you. Amen. For blessing. Amen. The service of the church. Amen. Yes, sir. Uh, you can tell him that. Praise God. He knows all about the give five. Come on. I don't know that. You know that. <laughs> what I was thinking. 
Uh, for those at home um, and on social media, you can give if you go to our Facebook uh, page. Uh, you'll see the Giveify option. I just tap on that um, and it directs you straight to um, it. Have the options of tithe and offering and seed sowing. And I believe I'm pretty sure once Danielle gets wind of what she's supposed to put on there, it, it'll have the seed for this project, restoration project. Um, you can um, give into that project as well as Cash App, which is FCA1989. There you go. A dollar sign, FCA1989. One more time. Dollar sign, FCA1989. Amen. Amen. If you'd like to write a, write a check and send it to our post office box, PO Box 10368, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. Again, PO Box 10368, Cleveland, Ohio, 44110. Amen. You can sow your seed. Amen. We'll so much appreciate, amen, your help and assistance as we continue to launch forward in the ministry of our Lord Jesus Christ. We love you. May God's best be yours. Amen. Clap your hands and give God praise. Thank you. I bless you in the name of the Lord. Amen. God bless you.